So this is the kickoff event we have every year. We have a brand new robotics competition. We have no idea what it's going to be, but we generally know it's going to be refrigerator sized robots on a field about the size of a volleyball court. Basically the game is to attack defenses, so uh, find ways to cross over a gate through a drawbridge, through some other different devices and move your robot from one end of the field to the other. While doing that, you want to carry a, a boulder, which is a game ball, um, and be able to attack the other opponent, your opponent's um, tower. And by, by attacking their tower, then you get to uh, lower the defenses on that tower. And then at the end of the game, you want to climb that tower to take over and you get points for doing all those different things. So I try to tell all my friends about this and they're like, oh, it's just like a robot. What exactly is the point in that? And now this time there's actually like a theme to the whole thing. So it actually makes it, you know, a lot easier for people to be like, hey, there's this tower and you have to try to do all this stuff with it. It gives it a much better visual, I would say, and so therefore it makes the game a lot more interesting. It has a variation to it. A lot of the games in the past have been, this is the field and this is always what the field is going to be. Well, this game has, you know, like they said, over 10,000 different variations of the field. And I think that, I mean, that's pretty impressive. I love the medieval spin. It's, it's kind of cool, you know. You have a castle and it's like defenses that you just got to get through. It's like a mix between capture the flag and siege warfare. With this game, it's more of a, you can control your own destiny and you can actually use your robot solely to propel yourself to a higher competing level rather than getting lucky or unlucky with alliance bearings. This game is something else. It's uh, interesting. At first it seemed really, really complicated, but I can see as we get down, it's just simple capture the tower. Um, there's a lot of elements leading into that, but it's at its heart, it's a really, really simple game that's gonna be really enjoyable, um, enough complexity to make each match interesting on its own, but you can also come in and understand what's going on very easily even if you've never seen it before.